So here we are with another video very excited this one is going to be on the beetlejuice statue and again this is going to be courtesy and a big shout out to becky from spirit halloween who is a really good friend of mine and she she bought this for me and picked it up for me and held it for me which is really nice of her so without her this video would not be possible because these things are so rare and so hard to come by um, i think they're still able to be ordered online i'm not too sure but i know in stores the minute these things hit the floor they are gone so luckily she was off i think that day and she saw it out and she bought it for me and let me know and i'm not gonna lie nipples got hard <laughs> so um anyway this is pretty cool it's a nice beetlejuice statue i'm gonna do the same thing i did with the michael Myers statue i have him lit up so you guys can kind of see how he is and then i will put on the normal light so you guys can kind of see what he looks like with the normal light on but Right off the back, it's really cool because he has the green LEDs. Um, one of my favorite things out of this whole statue um, has to be the grass. How they have it with uh, the Maitlands, how they made the diorama with the with the grass. So that's really cool. And it's awesome because they put a rock there so that way it kind of hides the LED light bulbs sticking out of the ground. But really cool. Look at that, how it just lights up the tombstone. Here lies Beetle Guys with the arrow going down. And then you also have the boots, his famous outfit with his hands sticking out, which is pretty much the It's Showtime look. And then there he is right there. So very cool statue. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this bad boy so you guys can see him spin around. Very awesome. So big thank you to Becky for, for getting this for me. And I appreciate it because I know a lot of my viewers and stuff love seeing stuff like this. but. Overall, it's an amazing piece. Everything from the tombstone to the grass to the rocks. I, I, I don't know why. I just love the grass. That's awesome. That's really cool. And then you have... Wow, look. You even have his fingernails. I just noticed that painted. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's the LED lights. And then there's the ghost with the most himself sitting there. So it's a very cool statue. He lights up very well. Um, I know I got some lights on because I want you guys to be able to see the statue. Um, he lights up pretty nicely in the dark too. Um, I'll probably post some pictures in the community tab so you guys can see how he lights up nicely. But yeah, overall this is a very cool piece. He's so awesome to have. Like he's he's very tall. You guys can kind of see a little bit of how big he is compared to the laptop that I got there and some of the other figures that I have. But I mean overall he's a really cool, awesome statue. And they got all the details from like the moss or the slime that he's got on the side of his head, his mouth, his eyes, the hair, everything. Nice detailing on the tombstone too. Um, how it's painted, how you got some wear and tear there. There's a little closer look at the grass and the rocks, the cracks in the tombstone. Just overall a very awesome, amazing piece. Look at that. Very cool. Absolutely love this thing. And then there you go with the tombstone right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off so we can see it does have a switch just like Michael Myers. Okay, we'll switch that off. Let me turn on my LED light so we'll be able to see him better. And then there you go. So close up on his face. Okay, you got his eyes looking to the side, his mouth, you got his teeth. Very nice sculpt. You see the little wrinkles in his forehead. There's all the moss and stuff or slime, whatever you want to call it. Very cool piece, guys. I highly recommend this thing, especially if you're a Beetlejuice fan. I absolutely love Beetlejuice. And uh, the fact, look, they even have his ring on there. The fact to have this statue, it's so unique and it's so different. Like, you would never expect for them to come out with something like this and that's what makes it so cool and unique um even like the tombstone that i that you guys saw in the previous videos the the marquee light i mean that stuff is just awesome look at the grass like it's it's like directly out of the movie um you know where he's sitting on the tombstone and um i want to say this is probably yeah the like i said the showtime scene 
uh, where, you know, Lydia's asking him for help and he's sitting there like, well, you know what you gotta do. And uh, it's so awesome. The suit, the ghost with the most sitting on it, on, on the tombstone, I mean, this is overall an amazing piece. I can't, I can't stress it enough how much this thing is amazing and I recommend you guys pick it up if you guys can. And uh, I mean, he's just so cool. I mean, I don't know how to, how else to say it. And I'm gonna try to hurry because my dog's gonna start acting a fool. But I mean, overall, he's just so awesome. Very cool to have. Very nice addition to the collection. I mean, he's, he, it's it's a big wow factor. That's what I can say. Like you have to actually have it or see it in person to appreciate it in full. But I mean, I absolutely love him. He's just, just so cool. I can't. <laughs> no but um yeah guys so that's pretty much it um like i said he lights up he takes uh three double a batteries i believe and i mean everything from the detail to just the actual statue itself i mean you can kind of see a little bit there compared to my uh crypt keeper and stuff like that he is pretty tall a little bit taller than the michael meyer statue but he is worth every penny um, and if you can get your hands on it, I definitely recommend getting your hands on it. If I'm able to grab any more, whether it's Beetlejuice or Michael Myers, I will grab them and definitely be doing a giveaway. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully we get lucky and I can grab some and uh, you guys will have a chance to win something like this. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Make sure you hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button because we have more videos coming soon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. <laughs> Hello, kitties. It's your old pal, John Kissier, the voice of the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> Greetings, my nightmarish fiends. You're watching my good fiend, Chris Legrand, on the Nightmare Corner on YouTube. So go ahead. Subscribe! I dare you! <laughs> but be careful what you ask for. You may get it. <laughs>